Welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are back again, round like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. To bring you a corny copia of showbiz news, a serving of stories from the internet, and even a lesson for your life that we cryptically call a life lesson. But they haven't let me loose on my own. I'm here with someone who's recently resigned from his role as Daniel Craig's stunt double, Isley. Mm. Mm. Couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle my jelly. Your jelly? No. <laughs> it wasn't ready for my jelly. They weren't ready for your even, jelly. Yes, which is even the, that the, current the song. song. Yeah. Yes. Um, and how are you, Moira? Moira? Is this not Mo Moira Rose inspired? No, I'm going, for, I'm going for, for Daddy Bear. Leather Bear. Okay. It's not working though, is it's it? It's not you. You're coming across Moira Rose. I'm back with some exciting showbiz news, including the possible remake of a classic film. And I've got some light-hearted giggles from the internet, including a story about an unlikely pairing. You can still find us through the week, when you're hiding from yet another call at work, or just hiding in general. Just search for The Could TV on all of your social media. Don't forget our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to all of this as a podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name should be sliding along the screen now. So, Mike, after our conversation last episode about classical music and its socio-economic impact on the rise of capitalism in Western Europe, I was just wondering, who is your favourite classical composer? Bach. Woof. No, no, Bach. Woof, woof. Oh, never mind, let's just play. Game of the week. The producer has a new job as an erotic story author, and his gentleman friend has promised to help knock a few out on his laptop. So while he's limbering up for that, let's play another round of The Gobby Game Show. We're going to send Lee off to visit some famous film and TV locations, and all he has to do is tell me where he is. So off you trundle. Go on, okay. first location is wanted. There is, of course, a twist, which will all be revealed when Lee has arrived at our first location. Are you ready, Lee? Yeah. Okay, where are you? I've got to, uh, um, to her, I'm not actually quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think... I think mm. it, it is real in real life. Real life. In real life. <laughs> <laughs> right. It is also in a television program. Yeah. Also uh -huh. in a television program. Uh, okay. Yeah. And old, old building. Okay. Yeah. Old uh, building. Television program. Very big. Huh? Very big, a dig little ding. A dig little dig, large little ding. <laughs> right, a large building, right, okay. Yeah, so a long time ago. Large building, okay. a very long time ago. Long time ago, large uh, building. Yeah, and they learn it, the hot people learn it, uh, up it. And then the servants lay downstairs, and then they go, they go... So the posh people live upstairs, the poor people live downstairs? The servants. The servants live downstairs? Yeah, in the big house. That's unusual, because more often than that, in old times, the poor people were upstairs. No, they weren't. Yeah, they slept upstairs. When the eaves in the building and stuff. Like the 20s? Yeah, yeah. They worked downstairs, in the kitchen. Yeah, they worked downstairs. Oh, right, okay, yeah. so... Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Countess. Some damage is on the other. Uh... Are you being served, sir? No. Oh, uh, time's up. Mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's downtown Abbey. Oh, downtown Abbey. Yeah, is it? Yes, apparently. Oh, it's it was. Oh, oh, there you go. Ah, uh, like the next one, please. <laughs> okay. I think. And um, no. <laughs> Oh, keep going. You've had a thought. Let's, let's uh, go with it. Old things. Old things. In a shop. In a shop. Yeah, it's not a real shop. It's not a real shop. Yeah. This lamp. Huh? This lamp. 
It's Ralph. <laughs> Hello, it's Ralph. Hi. It's Ralph? It's Ralph. And this is overall. With a tea tray. Hello. Would you like a cup of tea? No! What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, this is I don't want to go home to. Comedy. Um, it's already good, isn't it? Dinner ladies. No. In a, in a shop with old things. So you can't get it. No. They get it. Acorn antiques. Oh. Were you trying to say Mrs. Babs? Miss, Miss Babs. Miss Babs. Miss Babs. Oh, Miss Babs. <laughs> Oh, I can understand you now. <laughs> Not that fun thing in your mouth. Yeah. I can understand what you're saying. Difficult. Difficult. Okay. Let's, have Let's a... get the next one. Ah, oh, it's a film. Uh huh. Uh, from the 80s. From the 80s. Yeah. Michael J. Cox. But he was in all of them, wasn't he? In the car. Whoosh! Goes back in time. And then goes, what? goes back in time. Whoosh! Whoosh! The flames coming off the wheels. You know it. You, you <laughs> do, I can see it on your face. Yeah, goes back. And then comes back. It goes back and then comes back. Yeah. Back to the future. <laughs> As I've just heard the words back to the future, I'm assuming it's back to the future. I think it is, yeah. <laughs> I don't really recognise it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you don't do stuff like our showbiz. <laughs> Shall we get the next one up? Go, go on then. Uh, oh no, that's not that. Uh, keep dancing. Test daily. Strictly sperm dancing. Sperm dancing? That's what it's called, isn't it? Strictly come dancing? Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Is it? Is that what it is? Da 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 da. Not really so sad, he's dead. <laughs> Let's get the next one quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's hard on this one. Uh, right, say shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, goes into space. Are they below? Yeah. And then there's a lot in the... No, ow. I... No, no day. I can't do that day. Don't turn me off, day. And then... <laughs> goes to the planet in a an lung cave and the, and the shiny thing standing up in the middle of the desert. <laughs> 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yeah, and it was possibly the best impression that Lee has ever done, <laughs> and it's of a fictional computer that's trying to kill people. <laughs> Does it? Is it day? Is it uh, a day? It is. Don't turn me off, day. <laughs> Are we finished? Are I doing no. Not? Let's get another one up just to try and get it out of my mind. Oh, I am a fucking clue. Oh, okay. Um, in France. In France? France <laughs> in Paris. Uh huh. Yeah. Da 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 and <laughs> just repeating it doesn't make it any better. You and McGregor. Okay, we'll just move on from whoever. Hold on, hold on. You and you <laughs> and. Said, let's move on from whoever. Uh, and and Nicole Kidman. And oh. sing the words instead of talking there, that it's in that heist. Dancing girls. Dancing girls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> on the stage in a, in a place in Harris. Moulin Rouge. I got it right. Yeah. Well done, you dick. Yeah, you try. You try to say you and McGregor. You <laughs> and McGregor. It doesn't sound like what you think it sounds like. You and <laughs> McGregor. It sounds exactly. <laughs> you and McGregor. 
<laughs> just another wild, wild wood mouse. Ah, oh, Google it now, who are <laughs> Yeah, let's let's just pull another one up. Oh god. <laughs> oh, okay, right. I'm gone. <laughs> 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 oh, it's too little, aren't you? Uh, okay, like dinosaurs. Uh huh. Uh, in a in a theme park. Okay. Yeah. And then they have the big dinosaur. <laughs> and then the little dinosaurs. Let it go. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the then there's the like what do we do? We run. <laughs> Having an asthma attack. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. That's Jurassic Park. Yes. Okay. Phew. Ah! Oh. Ah! Well, that was impressive. Don't go anywhere because still to come is another one of our epic life lessons. And just after the break, it's our Lee with the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we chat to the man who always wanted to be a ghost, so he could put the willies up of people. It's Lee and the Showbiz News. No, it's not a ghost. I always wanted to be a nurse, so I could help people and wash lots of willies. Right, okay. Difference. No, not really. No. They still touch the people inappropriately. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. It's all fun and games. Yeah. So, showbiz news this week. Mm -hmm. So, were you a fan of The Masked Singer? Um, not really. Did you watch any of The Masked Singer? I tried to watch it. It was the silly voices they put over it. Uh, well, they had to so that you couldn't tell who they Why were. Why did you need them? It was someone singing. Yeah, but they don't... Oh, whatever. Um, so, I watched the first series, didn't watch the second series, it's just finished. I think the winner was Ellie Goulding. No, well, it wasn't. Well, it was um, Joss Stone. Interchangeable. A well singer. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know, I know um, Mel and Sue, one of those two was on it. Sue? Yeah. On them, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and other people, because yeah. I didn't watch it, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, they've kiboshed a third series of The Masked Singer Good. for this year. But what they are bringing, putting in its place is mm -hmm. The Masked Dancer. What? Yeah. The Masked Dancer, which is basically the Masked Singer, but they don't sing, they dance instead. I've got a picture here of, of what, what... So in other countries, this has been massively successful. Mm -hmm. So again, it's the same format. That man is in a very tight morph suit. Yeah. So already it, it's kind of spiked your interest, because you're like, ooh, tight morph suits. Yeah. Well, <laughs> at that particular moment, yeah. Particular, then, well, so there's the all one dressed as a giant effing flower. <laughs> <laughs> so the celebrity is the one dressed as a flower. Okay. The man in the morph suit is just like a backup dancer that dances alongside them. Okay. So, the, so ITV have secured the rights to the masked dancer. Right. And they're hoping that it will go in production this summer with the original, the, the, the original people that are the judges. So I think we've got a picture of the yeah. Somebody, 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 and somebody. <laughs> so we've got <laughs> Jonathan Ross, um, Rita Ora, boo! Nobody likes Rita Ora. Um, they don't. Oh, Why not? Because she just did what she wanted to during lockdown. I'm just going on, I'm just going to Dubai, mate. I'm going for a party. I'm going to have a party for all my friends. Oh, all right, was, yeah. it, was that her? Yeah. All right, okay, yeah, yeah we don't like um, her. Davina McCall, Mo Gilligan, and Alan Carr. Great, okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So, apparently, this is the blurb around it. So, a series of unnamed celebrities take to the floor to showcase their impressive dance moves. I think we can go impressive dance moves. <laughs> dance moves. Um, <laughs> and it's the, it's the sister. So, we've got another picture here. I'm not, I don't know who, I don't think they've revealed any of the people from other series who... Are all the backing dancers always in morph suits? Well, we're hoping so, aren't we? No, it's a bit... No. 
No. Well, apparently it's still very early days. That's what ITV have said. Okay. Um, and they're hoping to film in the summer um, and get the original panel. Who, do you, I, don't, do you, I don't get why, because they, they weren't really good at judging singers. Yeah, but, you know, Celebrity Big Brother has gone, so that's cut out a lot of revenue for, for celebrities. The cooking show's been done to death. Mm. This, this is the only thing now where a Z lead celebrity can get a bit more of exposure. We could easily come up with some Celebrity cannonball. You put a, ca a celebrity in a cannon, fire celebrity them into autopsy. the sun. Something like celebrity that. Celebrity autopsy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who, who knows? Well, it's coming and there's nothing we can do about it. Well. It's on its, unless you pinch the end. <laughs> and even then, it's still going to be coming. Between your fingers. Okay, right. How do we feel... Slightly moist. ...about remakes of classic films? Um, I actually quite like a remake of a classic film. Do you? Yeah, yeah. So, like, when they um, remade um, Dangerous Liaisons. Okay. Did it as Cruel Intentions. Yeah. Well, apparently, the Wizard of Oz remake is on the way. Oh. This is the original poster for the, the Tin Man. And... I'm less excited by this. Yeah, I don't know whether they can do this. Huh? Yeah, I, I don't... So, New Line Cinema are apparently... Yeah in the works of, the, of remaking it. Okay. I don't, so there have been versions of The Wizard of Oz, not as in the remake of the film. No, so that's, the, that's Return to Oz. That's Return to Oz, which yes. was kind of like a sequel, kind of like mm -hmm. afterwards, which was really creepy. Really dark. With the heads in the jars and, and the, the wheelie things. The wheelers. Yeah, really, really creepy. Then there was, I liked Oz the Great and the Powerful. Mm. Because that wasn't about... It was kind of like the history of ours, which I quite liked. Uh -huh. But apparently... And Wicked. And Wicked. Is that, but that's kind of not related to the Wizard of Oz. It's in the universe of Oz, but not... doesn't follow... The, don't be giving me a side eye. Um, so, yeah. That, so, so the, the, the director... Is, mm -hmm. So she says, While the 1939 musical is part of my DNA, I am exhilarated and humbled by the responsibility of reimagining such a legendary tale. So... See, what I like about it is it's because it is so obviously from the 1930s. Mm. It's very obvious. And the witch's broom is made of asbestos because it could have killed her. Um, was it the broom? What, when, when they painted a green, was it like with lead paint or something mm -hmm. like that? Or was that the Tin Man? They all died. They're, they're, something they're all, hideous. They're all dead now. They're all dead now. Well, no, good. There was, there was the whiz, wasn't there, done in the 70s with... A lot like, of whiz was done in the 70s. <laughs> With Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. Mm -hmm. That was a different take on The Wizard of Oz. I don't mm. think if they're going to remake it, mm. I don't think so. I don't think they should remake The Wizard of Oz. No. I mean, the best thing I think to come out of The Wizard of Oz is um, Liza Minnelli. Okay. Mm. That's the mum in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like thinking, going, Liza Minnelli wasn't in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> no, but mum was. Yeah. Yeah. The witch. Dorothy? No, no, I don't know what I don't know what's happening today. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the final bit of showbiz news. Okay. Please, please. If I said to you the name Jojo Siwa, would you have any idea who, who that is? Jojo. Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa. Say it faster and faster. Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa. Like wood mouse again. Do you know who she who who Jojo Siwa is? No idea. No. If you're probably under the age of 15, you probably don't know who Jojo Siwa is. Well, I am under the age of 15 then, obviously. So, Jojo Siwa uh -huh. is um, a YouTube and singer and dancer. She's famous for having these massive bows in her hair. She's American. Okay. Uh, we've got a picture of her here. Does, does that look, does, does that strike any memories for you? No. 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 She's very much up for the kids. Okay. Very perky, very, oh my God, hi. That kind of stuff. I want to hurt her. Oh, don't. Just from that impression. Just for that impression. <laughs> so if that's not accurate so, at all, So that's she's fine. 17, and a couple of weeks ago, she was kind of hinting that she possibly might be having a revelation about her sexuality. Okay. So she posted a video of herself miming to the lyrics of Lady Gaga's Born This Way. Mm -hmm. um, and then she posted a picture of herself wearing a T-shirt that said, Best Gay Cousin Ever. Mm -hmm. So we've got a picture of that. Um, but then she's actually introduced her girlfriend to her followers on social media. So she's saying, 
After being my best friend for over a year, I got to start calling this exceptional human my girlfriend. And since then, I've been the happiest I have ever been. So here she is with a girlfriend during lockdown. Now, that is lovely because mm -hmm. she's 17 years old. She doesn't care what people think. She's, you know, for, you know, living her best life. Oh, what, what are you sniggering at, Mike? <laughs> Just a are they, it's are definitely they saying... a toilet. It's definitely a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's a toilet. So I think that's fantastic. Yeah. The internet has other ideas. So anybody above the age of like 50 has got outrageous, you shouldn't be promoting homosexuality to our children, you're gonna turn our kids, blah, 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 blah. The fact is, is that she's, you know, no different a person who she was before she mm -hmm. said that she was gay to after that she's saying she was gay. She, it's just one of those things. I think it's really good that a kid of that age is comfortable in their sexuality to be able to kind of like put it out there kids can identify with it so even though i wouldn't know jojo siwa if i fell over in the street probably would do because she got oh you've just tripped over me i'm jojo siwa uh, <laughs> she's um, got a massive bow in her head <laughs> yeah so break my ankle on a massive bow um all you'd steal it you'd break your ankle on it <laughs> yeah to be fair <laughs> I would have it you mugging her. seconds <laughs> like, <"Mine!"> yeah, right. <laughs> um Fantastic news for her. Good good yeah. for you, Jojo Siwa. Yes. And that is the end of the biz that we call show. Is it, is it really? Finally, in my ear. <laughs> well, thank you, Lee. It's always good to... I don't even know what we've talked about. <laughs> <laughs> <It's all> just... <laughs> Nothing. A lot of old shit. Coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. But before that, we have the never-ending story that is Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cord. And now it's time to go over to the person who treats himself to a sit-down wee every morning. It's Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> you like to take the weight off, don't you? I I'd like a sit-down wee. It doesn't have to be in the morning. <laughs> Any time of the day is a treat. Any, I just like, I like a sit down wee. Yeah. Right now, this very minute. <laughs> no, it's a sit down poo. Oh, okay. But anyway, um, we'll, we'll move on, shall we? Crude. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, I, I've had a, a dig around the internet this week um, to, to find some interesting little tidbits and fun, gi fun oh, kids. Tidbits. Tidbits and fun bits. Um, now, the first one that I found is a story. Uh, I'm, you're going to have to try and keep it entertained with this one, about a hedge fund. Do you know what a hedge fund is? A hedge fund? A hedge fund. Is it like something that you um, save for a rainy day? A hedge fund? No. Um, a it's... wood mouse? A <laughs> wood mouse. Wood mouse. Hedge fund? Wood mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I need you. <laughs> no, a hedge fund is when you basically bet whether someone's going up or down the stock market. Oh, right, okay. And you put all the money in it. Yeah. <laughs> but like what? Well, what's happened is um, some hedge fund managers have been pretty much bankrupted by a group on Reddit. Oh. Okay. Uh, and this is because they, they found out that they were going to devalue the, co the price of a share. Right. right. And betting on it. So what these group of Reddit people did was pumped hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars into this company to make the share price go up. Mm -hmm. um, to the, the, the point that people started to post in there about, maybe this is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they're playing with the stock market values and it, it could cripple the economy. And the fact they're pumping money into the economy. Um, so, so, so the poke... Have you heard about the poke no. on Facebook? Fun Pretty much lost me at hedge fund, to be fair. Um. <laughs> it's got a little wooden house inside. <laughs> <laughs> brought you back I was it. doing that thing, like, yeah, mm, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Really, I'm dancing in a field of daisies inside my head. Anyway, go on, the poke on right, Facebook. Okay. I'll, I'll just put it When you it. poke someone. No. So. <laughs> That's still a thing. No. No. No, they withdrew the poking after you know, a couple of issues. Mm, inappropriate uh -huh. poking. Um, so, for those that want to read this story um, and care about what a hedge fund is or what 
don't even know. Um, pretty much what happened was a load of people came together, increased the, the cost of a share. These hedge fund people lost lots of money. Um, right, so it's like a stick it to the man story okay. in a non-sexual way. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Cool. Shall I move on for you? Is that the end of the story? That's going to be the end of the story. Oh, right, okay. I was waiting for a punchline. I thought you were going like, to say they'd like, put it into a hedge fund full of dildos or something like that. <laughs> I was like waiting for that, like sex arses or something like that. No. Okay. Um, so, so I wanted the poet put this. Um, I know this GameStop stuff is funny, but you have to remember this is hurting real people who own multiple boats. Oh, those multiple boat owners. They have mm. it so hard. They do now. Mm. Yeah. Shall we move on? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's stop feeling sorry for the rich. Yeah. Um, so the next story is about a picture that's had people confused. Now, if you think in the past we've had the, is the dress green or blue or mm -hmm. purple or whatever? Yeah. And is it, what's this voice saying? Is it Yano and, and this? What is this picture, Lee? Um, it's a picture of a man running into the woods. Or is it a picture of a dog? Um, no, it's clearly a picture of a man running into the woods. He's got a backpack on. That backpack is a face. Oh. It's a dog running out of the woods. It's a dog running out of the woods. Yeah. 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 But it looks like a man running into the woods. It does. It's clever, that, isn't but it? But then once you, once, you, once you see it, then it's clearly a dog running out of the woods. <laughs> once you've had it explained to you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's clearly what it says it is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What, a, what a crazy photo. Well, I'm not weird, but it's a cute dog. Yeah, is it a Labrador? It's a dog. It's just dog. I don't know. I don't know breeds of dogs. It looks like a Labrador to me. It's a bit fluffy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, apparently it was a poodle. Oh, it was a poodle. Okay. Okay. A poodle. <laughs> Who knows? And if something grabs you by the short and curlies and says, share me, why not share it with us? Just search for The Could TV on all of your social media platforms. And that brings us nicely over to the story of the week. Nelly, how do you feel about unusual mashups? Unusual mashups? Mm. I'm a fan of a general mashup. A general Not mashup. Not so sure about an unusual mashup. So, so talk about a general mashup you'd enjoy. Um, so, like, when they take two songs mm -hmm. that sound kind of similar and then they, they kind of mix them together in a, in a, in a, in a flowing way. Okay. I, I do appreciate a mashup. Okay. What about with food? Oh. How do you feel about a mashup of food? Is I don't mean like to make baby food. Oh, um, it depends what it is. Because if it's like that horrible vile burger thing that you made us eat uh -huh. a while ago, then no. No, not like the burger thing. No. Okay. It's nothing like the burger thing. No. Nice thing. Is it like yeah. genetic splicing? Pretty much, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this was shared on social media, mm -hmm. um, which is by Weetabix, which why should have bread have all the fun when there's Weetabix? Serving Heinz beans on Bix for breakfast with a twist. Yeah. What's the twist? It's, it's beans on, on oh, Bix. Okay. <laughs> I thought, right. Well, one is vile. Uh huh. And two, that's the end. <laughs> so you're not, a, you're not like. No, that's disgusting. I thought they were selling how, it. How do you know it's disgusting if you've never tried it? Because I just know these things. No, I think you should, we should try no. it to find out. I, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't like. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So we've got some lovely Cold beans. baked beans <laughs> on Weetabix. I don't like Weetabix. <laughs> oh. We have, the, we have some, some lovely bowls. A oh, nice one. Lovely bowls. Yeah, and for your granny's house. Is it ribbed? For your pleasure. <laughs> I'm going to stick it up my arse. <laughs> <laughs> Although preferably if I could, <laughs> rather than eat that, I'm quite happy to do it. <laughs> You're going to stick a Weetabix up you. <laughs> <laughs> going in dry. <laughs> oh dear. I'm losing half your bix here. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> so they just. Do they, in the thing, do they heat up the beans? Oh, I don't think they would. Not for breath. That'd be weird. Because <sighs> I'm, I'm not. Uh... Oh. I, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not keen, Mike. I, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't know. You don't like it. I, I know. I don't. Well, I don't like beans. 
<laughs> I don't mind Weetabix. Well, that's all right, then. Because I don't like Weetabix, so we're, we're both we're both trying something here. There we go. See, doesn't that look lovely? Mmm. Made a horrible mess on the desk. Oh, it's... I don't like... <laughs> so you got, do you want to go first? No. Okay, just go first anyway. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> mm. I go. I actually like this. <laughs> Not good. I do like it. It's not, you like it? <laughs> Freak. <laughs> there you go. The man, chew, I've started chewing it ready for you, so if you want to no, carry right. on. I don't like it a bit, but this is, this is good. What is the matter with you? What, would you would you heat those up and then put them on mm. top? This is good. Cold baked beans mm. on a dry old Weetabix. It's like it's the story out. of your life, that, isn't it? <laughs> A metaphor for your life. <laughs> I could go with this. Oh well, yeah. It's your breakfast. Um, some people didn't feel the same way. Yeah. Um, so we've got some other people tweeting what they thought about this week's a bit right, sensation. Okay. Nando's was asking, "You okay, hun? DM it are open if you need to talk." Okay. Toblerone. We're from Switzerland, so we're staying out of this. Virgin Australia with. Suddenly, oh. kind of okay. The international borders were closed. I like illegal combination in the bugging area. From Tesco. Yeah, I like yeah, yeah. that one. They're all wrong, though. This is a taste sensation, man. It's vinyl. That's all right. I need, just put some cat food on there as well and just have done with it. I'm not Send, a cat. Just, just call it a day. <laughs> they're Why going, are you putting cat they're, food on something? Yeah, they're, they're going, you dirty old man. <laughs> You've just gone too far. <laughs> yeah. What would you do that for? Because it's vile and there's no other way you can... Uh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm loving this. Nice. Mm. Well, if Weetabix are watching mm. and Heinz Beans, then here's your poster boy. Go for it. Pay me. Pay him. Fine. So, yeah. But um, that's all that we've got for the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike, you freak. Freak of nature. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> Because after this comes a life lesson that doesn't involve vile food and baked beans. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to drag you kicking and screaming through what we like to call... Life. Lessons. So what are we doing this week, Lee? Well, although there is a little tiny glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel that comes okay, summer, that, um, we will be able to do things that we haven't been able to do during lockdown. It's unlikely, I would say, mm. that we're going to get to go on holiday, as in on a plane, hollybobs abroad. I don't know. Come might be able to. Don't, I don't year. think so. I think we'll be optimistic. So, what's the next best thing, Mike? Crying wank. No. There's always time for a crying wank. Once you've finished and there's nothing left, you might want to go for a holiday in a bowl. You know, it's not a replacement for a following holiday, but it's as, it's as, it's as close as you're going to get. Hmm. In a bowl. You're telling me that this yeah. is not a replacement yeah. for we're a gonna, foreign holiday. We're gonna, <laughs> we are going to recreate a foreign holiday, a beach holiday, in a bowl. Okay. Okay, so you've got you've got a you've got a bowl, a fish bowl. It's plastic, so it won't shatter if you break it. You have a, a variety of accoutrements. Uh-huh. Um, you've got some you've got some brown sand. Brown sand. Brown sand. Why is it brown? Um because it is. Okay. Fine. It's just this, that's just the sand on the beach. Okay. Yeah. It could be yellow sand. Or golden sand. Or, or white sand. sand. Or black sand. Oh, yeah. 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 But we're going for this sand that was, in the, for that was available brown. in the shop. Yeah. Okay. Um, or in one of those things, those yellow things at the side of the road that you used to grit Rit. the road. Yeah. I just got a bit of that because I forgot. Um, we've, got, we've, got some, we've got some salt that is that I have coloured blue. You've got a lot of time on your hands. Um, that is going to represent the sea. 
Did you do that with a felt tip pen? No, I used a, I used chalk. Chalk. Oh. I, I grated chalk. Oh, okay. Yeah, I grated chalk. <laughs> that is how. That is what my life has become. Then we've got a variety of other things that are going to set our scene. Okay. Okay. But so what we're going to do first mm -hmm. is we're going to make we're going to create the ocean. Okay. Okay. So you want to get your bag that's got your blue salt, salt in it. Salt in yeah. Yeah. And undo the thing that I've tied very tightly. I can't do knots. Yeah. You, you should have a spoon there as well. I do. Um, we're going to create the ocean. So, a couple of, couple of spoonfuls of sand. Now, don't, the trick is don't get it on the side. You want it to go onto the bottom of your bowl, but only on one side. Okay. Oh, it's even sparkly, Mike. Oh, yeah, it's Like sparkly. the very rays of the sun on the Mediterranean Ocean. It's a sea. Is it? A Mediterranean sea. So, so kind of create a bit of sea at one side, pat it down with your spoon. Okay. See, it looks a little bit like sea, doesn't it? I might kind of build it up a little bit. So what's it supposed to look? Is it... It's, this is the ocean. So is this right? Yeah, put a bit more in, pat it down. It's because what we're going to create is like, you know when you've been on holiday and you're on the beach mm. and you're looking out into the sea? Yeah, whatever. Um, so, okay, you happy with that? I'm going to say yes because I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea, okay. So next, what you want to take mm -hmm. is your brown sand because we're going to make a beach. Right, okay, we have brown sand. The brown sand. Just going to have to... I have brown sand. Have brown sand, right. So this, the sand, the brown sand is a little bit moist. I've noticed, yes. Yeah, a bit damp. Um, and we're going to put that at the other side. Uh -huh. But you don't want it to mix with your C. Okay. And kind of like, so pat it down to create. So where did you get this idea from? Actually. This was sent in by a viewer. Oh. They sent us a picture. And said to do this, because yeah, we Yeah, and said, it. why don't you try? Because quite often, people think that we make these life lessons up ourselves. No, 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 no. Really? Viewers actually give us the ideas for these. Yeah. So I'm quite happy with my, are you? That's a lot of beach, Mike. Huh? It's a lot of beach. Because <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. and. You said put a couple of spoonfuls of water in. Beach sort of. Can tide's I, gone out. Uh, can you still see the sea? I can still see the sea. It's just the tide's gone out a little bit. Okay. So what, once you've created, so if, once you're happy with your um, beach, you might want to flatten it a little bit or add a bit more sea. I don't know. I, I was thinking I might pour some sea on the other side. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a pebble to flatten it down. Just to... No. Oh. You were one of those children at school, weren't you? That I was a child at school, you're right. That, that didn't <laughs> listen to what the teacher was saying. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So we set the scene now, yeah? Uh -huh. got, we don't jiggle it around, because if you jiggle it around, it'll just make a horrible mess. <laughs> it already looks like a horrible mess. Yeah. I've got so I've now, got sea that goes underneath the beach. Yeah, you've not done it right. Mine's beautiful, look. Clearly, clearly, beach one side, sea on the other side. Don't you dare. Okay. So now is the even more fun bit. Okay. We're gonna more, we, more, fun more than putting fun. sand in a bowl. Yeah, we're gonna create the actual scene of the beach. So okay. you will find you have a teeny tiny little palm tree with some little cocoa coconuts. Coconut. You can stick your your tree. You can stick your tree <laughs> into the sand. And you can, if you would like to. I think I've provided you with a couple of rocks. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. In your, li in your little plastic bag, yeah. you've got a variety of different things that can make the scene for your uh, beach. So, okay. um, 
I've got there's a little dolphin. What's a holiday without a dolphin? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pop the dolphin into the sea. <laughs> Rather than on land. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. They prefer it. Yeah. Um we've we've got um we've got a little beach towel. I'm gonna put that on my beach. Like I've just gone for it. Just gone for a swim. It's waiting for me. Um if I spin it round. Oh look at that. Oh that is that is like a tiny miracle in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um there's wildlife on holiday as well. It's a monkey. Okay, where is this beach? Beach of imagination. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna so it's my not a I'm gonna put my monkey kind of near the tree. Half in the half between the, the sea. Uh, and look, he's got googly eyes. Slightly demented. Yeah, so pop him wherever you would like to pop him. Oh, in the in the sea. Going for a swim, he's diving into the sea. Well, you might regret that in a minute. Um, you, I, I've provided you with a parasol because, you know, you've got to be careful with the burning hot sun of the um, bowl. Okay. Yeah. I don't want there. a parasol. Oh, look. Oh. So we've got a parasol, right. Parasol. There is a mini version of you and me. Look, accurate down to the six pack and pectorals. Yes, down, down to the six pack. Yeah. Yeah, um, we're on rubber rings. Oh, a little tiny me. There's you with your with a, with your wonky eye and your and your nipples showing. <laughs> I'm gonna pop me mm -hmm. in in the ocean. I didn't choose to put my monkey in the sea because I, I knew that that's what was happening. Oh look, there I am with a monkey's ass. <laughs> Pressed yeah. against the bowl. Yeah. And then your final touch is uh -huh. the sunshine because it's not a holiday without sunshine. Unless you're so at Blackpool. You can, put, you, you can pop that in the sand and that, dear viewers, is a holiday in a bowl. That's beautiful. It's something. It is. Bowl full of sand. Mm. So while, while I, was, I was doing that and sorting my monkey out, my dolphin has, has fallen into my crotch. Oh. That's, is that a, is that a kawinky so denk or is it a dream? It wouldn't be a holiday without you getting accosted on the beach. Without getting fellatio from a dolphin. And that is the end of this week's life lesson. Well, thanks for that, Lee. That brings us to the end of this week's show. We've got just enough time to say find us on your social media platforms. Look for The Could TV. And our website is thecud.tv. And while you're there, have a look at our support section for extra content, including outtakes. But like the squished hedgehog caught on the wheel tread of life, we've got just enough time to show you our fruit of the week. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.